second bar shows the iPod Touch and uh, its use by a younger audience. The iPod Touch has been extremely popular with people uh, below the age of 25. The iPad fits right into that same uh, group. Uh, and this whole audience skews younger, although adults are adopting it fast. Now, I want to switch subjects a little bit and talk about uh, a really significant fourth generation computer uh, issue. How do you access content on a fourth generation computer? Well, there's three ways. You can build what's called a native application, or you can use the browser and go to traditional websites, or you can go to mobile websites. With na native applications are programs written in the native language for that device. For Apple products, you write in Objective-C. For Android products, you write in JavaScript. The big advantage of native applications is that there is a superior user experience. But they're darned expensive. That is, unless you compare them to printing presses. Traditional websites, they're really difficult to use on the iPhone. They provide an, just an OK user experience. They render nicely on the iPad and tablet devices. Uh, Flash no longer uh, works on Apple devices. Uh, the world is moving quickly toward HTML5. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Flash is just about dead. Uh, yesterday, uh, in Apple's announcement yesterday, uh, where they issued the 4.0 SDK, the, that's a technical term for Apple's uh, book on how to program for these computers, they have made it illegal to use the Adobe program that would port Flash over to the iPhone. Uh, Apple intends to just put Adobe Flash out of business, and they probably will. Uh, major websites are converting away from Flash for video to HTML5. Now, mobile websites. Uh, mobile websites are the least expensive way to get content on a fourth generation computer, but they have a very, very poor user experience compared to native apps. When we publish a native app for any of our customers, the utilization of the mobile website plummets as the usage of the native app increases. It's the least, com uh, least, common, denator, uh, ow, can't talk. least common denominator versions can reach most smartphones, but given a choice, the user always selects native applications. And if you're offering only a mobile website and your competitor's offering a native application, you can lose market share because of it. Mobile websites are are just a poor uh, alternative. The bottom line is that native apps win with consumers. Why? Because they deliver a superior user experience. Uh, how are native apps growing? This chart from Gartner shows some pretty stunning growth. They expect uh, this year that app sales in billions will be 6.8 billion, and in 2013, just three years from now, it'll be 30 billion. So the growth here is just tremendous. Uh, Apple today uh, leads uh, new technology. It's just that simple. They uh, are absolutely uh, uh, setting the pace that everyone else is having to follow. In my opinion, it's because they do the best job of listening to consumers. When they turn out devices, there's great user experiences, and customers love them. Another point about Apple, everything they deliver is profitable, enormously profitable, and they have enormous cash reserves. Do you know that in the last quarter, in spite of all the money Apple spent to develop the iPad, in spite of all the money they spent opening new stores, 
in spite of all the money they spent buying other companies, they still deposited $5.8 billion in the bank. They've got a $40 billion purse. They've got a 45% margin. Apple makes great products, but that's not their genius. Their genius is they make 45% margin on great products. And I just don't see how anybody's going to catch them. They're right now the third uh, most uh, valuable company in the country, having recently just passed uh, Walmart. So my bottom line is Apple products deserve serious responses. Now to the uh, second half of my remarks, and then hopefully we'll have time for some questions and answers. Uh, this will seem a little bit disjointed to you, but I tried to put together a collection of things that we've learned through the College of Hard Knocks on building applications. Native applications for these 4G computers have been successful because they're just easy to use and provide a superior experience in consuming content. Secondly, application prices. You know the average price is just over 99 cents. It costs less, it costs more to buy a latte uh, than it does to buy an app these days. They provide instant gratification. You see a program you want, bang, you download it and you've got it right there on the spot. You want to buy a book from Apple, click. Comes down in just a few seconds, you've got an entire book. These devices fulfill basic everyday needs. No longer have to worry about maps. You've got maps and directions with you. And they're instantly informative. Uh, you know at the water cooler, did you hear? Well, that's, that's a game that we'll always play. But with these kinds of devices, you really are in the know. And it's hard for somebody to surprise you with facts that you didn't know. From the content owner's point of view, this whole new ecosystem is also attractive. Uh, increasingly, it's where the eyeballs are, and we've got to provide media where the eyeballs go. They take advantage of these increased hours where we can consume media. Uh, my wife had a minor uh, surgical procedure uh, night bef uh, afternoon before last, and I had to sit there in the waiting room waiting for her. It's something we've all experienced. With the iPad, I could have been in my uh, office. I was conducting business the entire time while I was listening to Aida on my headphones. It, 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 they just consume, they just repurpose time, which was otherwise dead time, wasted time. Otherwise, I would have been reading a, f a five month old issue of Sports Illustrated. Another reason content owners like them is they provide an opportunity for additional advertising revenue, but here's the biggie. They provide an opportunity to repent from the sins of the web. We backed into the web. Nobody knew what the web was going to do. We backed into it. We put our content up on the web and we offered it for free. We did it with no business model. And this generation of computers is going to give us an opportunity to back away from that no subscription model and return to our traditional subscription plus ad model. Uh, I didn't put many stats in here. We all read these stats. Uh, there's 30,000 Android apps compared to 180,000 iPhone and iTouch apps. But don't let that fool you. The Android app inventory is growing by leaps and bounds. Android is coming on really fast.